In today's duel, we're going to take a deep look at a company that makes cycling bibs, but they have some sort of a unique twist for this. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cycling content. But before diving into the products, let's have a quick overview at the company behind those bibs. Red White was founded in 2014 in Singapore by a guy called Yuva. And Yuva really do everything at Red White. He does the marketing, he does the branding, he does the design, he's the customer service, he does the marketing, he's really a one-man army. He must be super busy, but he makes really good products and I'm so happy to have the opportunity to do an overview of his products. So a little bit more about Red White Apparel. The first bib was the bib and it was developed specifically to help cyclists to do more ultra distance rides in comfort at a reasonable price. And this is something really important at Red White is that their pricing is really low for the quality that you get. But more on that later. And Red White don't do jerseys, they don't do jackets, they don't do socks, they only do cycling bibs. And the reason for that is simple, is that Yuva can focus all his energy into making those one single products that are amazing and they are perfect. When you have a full lineup, sometimes like it can get a bit messy. When you have a big, wide, vast inventory of jerseys and colors and stocks, right? So being focused with only a few bibs is just a key for the business to succeed. Another reason why they only make bib shorts is that they can scale the production up so the costs are reduced for the customer. If Yuva had to split his inventory with jersey and stuff, the quantity would be smaller and would mean for higher prices from the manufacturing companies. So let's have a first look at the bib. So this is their IN model. It's retailing at $130, but in the space of cycling, $130 bibs is somewhat mid-range, right? But with Red White, you're getting most of these IN features, but more in the middle of the road price point between super cheap and super expensive. So this whole bib short is designed around the pad. It's a thermic molded pad and has four layers of material. So on top, there is a bacteria resistant fabric. There's also medium density foam, high density foam, and perforated backing material. These four layers are cut and put into a hard steel mold. The mold is then heated at 190 degrees and this causes the all layers to fuse into one piece. This creates a pad that stays plush and doesn't flatten out as the bib short age and is used for super long rides. And my first feedback about this chamois is that it's amazing. As soon as you, you take a look at it, you see it's really onto another class of its own. I don't really see this many thick bibs around, but the difference with super thick bibs is sometimes they don't breathe. And this one, I feel I didn't have any problems with evacuating moisture from down there. I've only done a few 100K rides with this bib, but it quickly ranked up my favorite bib lips. I've made a video about all my favorite bibs. Check it out, there's gonna be a link into the description. But yeah, if you take a look at it, it's super wide, it's super thick, it's really well made for the price. I was not expecting this at all. Now for the fabric of the bib. It's really high end, it's really nice to the touch. Um, something that you would see on most of other bibs, I mean, it's nothing crazy or s spectacular about that fabric. So the material used is a licra made by Mitti of Italy. It's a soft, densely woven fabric that provides enough compression, just not too much and not too little. It's just a solid, high quality licra that just gets the job done. I also like the straps around this bib. They are just enough elastic with good support. The edges are not feeling too rough onto the skin. And what I like about Red White is that their straps are a bit wider than standard size straps. So it's just better for more support when it comes to riding on long rides. Something else I really like about those straps that I don't see often in other bibs is they really come high around the waist here. So you see the fabric here, it goes maybe to almost like half of my torso around there. And to the front, it goes right next to the belly. This is for additional support. And what you do feel is when it's around yourself, there is a lot of more support like that. And uh, this is why they use this fabric so it can enhance the comfort for long rides. And now one of my favorite part of this bib and it's the gripper. Yes, the gripper is so nice because first it's oversized with silicone micro dots. And it, while it's still super breathable, it just grips the leg. My number one features in bibs is how long can they stick to the right place 
I don't want my bibs to go up the leg over time over the ride. Uh, this is just not comfortable and it just doesn't look good. But when you have oversized gripper like this with silicone dots, it just keeps it in place and it looks just so good. So in overall, this bib is designed for everyone who rides more than three hour rides. It looks just extremely affordable for the price point. I do feel that this bib compared to what is on the market at that price point, there's no brands that can beat it. Yes, there's better bibs out there at the 250 USD mark or 300 USD mark, but at that $130 price point, you're getting a lot of value. And if $430 for a bib is still too expensive for you, well, Red White offer a more affordable option and it's called the Entry Bib. The Entry Bib packs a lot of the same feature as the higher one, such as the huge oversized leg gripper, the same silicon dots, the same straps, the same tailoring, but the chamois is different. So where they did cut down on the cost for this bib is with the chamois. So the chamois here is not thermic molded and that's it. It still feels like a great chamois. The padding is great, but I wouldn't be doing too many three hour rides into this bib or into this chamois. It's still a really good value for the price point. I've seen bibs at $65, $70, $80, or $100. And this somewhat is probably one of the best in that price point. Again, it's always about price point, cost versus features. And here, when I know I'm going on shorter rides, this option just feels great because you do have everything from an iron bib and uh, you just scale down the chamois for those shorter rides and that's it. So now that I finished talking about the products, what else are you getting when you're purchasing your bibs from Red White? Well, first of all, there is a crash replacement. So they offer a 50% discount in the event that you crash your bibs. So that is really nice because with cycling, you never know what happened. If you do race, you will eventually crash and you will eventually tear your bibs. So knowing that you can get a 50% discount on your next bibs in the event that uh, you had a crash, this is amazing peace of mind. I'm sure that you will get your replacement super easy and super quick. Something else to note about these bibs is that they are not made in China. There's still a lot of iron cycling bibs and jerseys that are made in China these days, but these are made in Romania. So I don't know if the labor is better or not better, but from what I see on this bib, it's great. And uh, those Romanian people uh, do know how to make cycling bibs, I guess. And now a big question about sizings. Sometimes when you buy online bibs, you cannot try them before. Sizing is really hard and really important. And Red White offered this really nice concept that you send in your measurements and within 24 hours, you're gonna get a response by Yuva saying uh, which size you should go for. And I've tested it myself without him knowing. And I used my girlfriend's email and I sent him over my measurements and he got back to me within 24 hours with the response that I should go to the medium bib. And this is what I've done. And for the sizing, I went one size up for my regular bibs. Usually I'm a small in most of the brands, but with red white, I went with the medium and it fits me perfectly. So I am 5'6 and I weigh 148 pounds. And something I've never seen into the cycling market is that if you get your measurements from Yuva and he got it wrong, he will own his mistake and he will send a new bib or replace the new bib at no extra cost. That is such an amazing service. It's just like for a peace of mind for you guys to when you order your bibs online, in the event that he mistaken your measurements, well, he's gonna replace it. He's going to own this mistake. So that is another perks of buying bibs from a smaller company. And at that point, you guys realize that, yes, I do love this bib, but you should not take only my opinion for it. If you go into Red White website and you look at all the ratings and all the comments, the fan base is amazing. I've never seen this much engagement in all my life into cycling products or any general products uh, out there. Uh, people really love to write like big messages about their experience and how they bought one and now they bought a second one over time and a third one and a fourth one. So yeah, I'm really stoked that I got to try those bibs. You will see me wear this bib in a lot of my future videos and a lot into my future rides. All right, that's it for today's though. If you want to know more about Red White, there will be links into the description down below. Unfortunately, there is no discount codes or affiliate link for you guys to save some money because the price is already so low. The margins are so small onto their size that they cannot offer discounts. If you do talk to Yuva, just say, hey, Charles sent me and uh, I'm sure he's, uh, he's going to be really happy about that. All right, my name is Charles and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.